Hey guys, this is Kate Kennedy and I'm really excited to show you a new collection from Crate Paper called Heart Day. And it is so cute. Here, I'll show you the name. It's Heart Day. So I, this is their Valentine's Day collection for, I guess it would be 2017, that is so crazy. But um, I don't have the entire collection. I don't have all the papers or all the embellishments. There's a lot more to this collection. Um, but I just was pretty selective of what I got, but it was just so, so cute. And I have so many projects that I'm gonna be making with this because I just love it. So I'm gonna go through the papers really quickly. This first one is the kind of cut up hearts page, and this is called La La Love. And it has some very, um, it's not like your traditional three by four or four by six cut up heart page. It's more like tags and little like cards. So there's several different tags. Um, there's some that are like in banner shapes, um, there's some that are taller and skinnier and then just some plain like cards but you could use these like layering on layouts there's some little kind of tiny words I guess you could say um, this cactus is adorable this says let's hold hands I like you a latte um, you're the glaze to my donut hey hot stuff there's just really 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 cute and these little heart strawberries are adorable so this is the front side and it's it's almost a white background. You know, crepe paper sometimes can be very off-white. This one is, I would say it's slightly gray. It's not, you can see this is white. So you can see it's just slightly off. Um, but the back side is this really pretty kind of brushed um, stripe. And then it doesn't have a complete branding strip at the bottom. It only has like a little section, but that's okay. This one is called Pucker Up, and it's just some really cute little kind of watercolory lips, and then it has some little like vintagey tape or something at the bottom. And then I think the branding strip on the front shows the pattern on the back. Oh yeah, and vice versa. So I really like this pattern. It's just a black and white. Um, very cute. This one is called Dreamy. I love this pattern. It's just, it's very kind of abstract and not perfect but I really like it and I love the colors and then this side is a chevron with like a ledge very faint ledger in the background I feel like we've seen this paper a lot before but this side I really like it and I think it's different um this one is called sweethearts and this is a fun thing that crepe paper has done in a couple other collections I think um oh it was I think it was Maggie Holmes I can't remember what it was called, but it came out like in the spring and it had like mint and maybe like newspaper print kind of roughly like this. And then Dear Lizzie had a paper that was actually made out of crepe paper that was ruffled like this. That was awesome. But I really like um, the colors on this one. And the backside is also really cute. It's these two-tone hearts that are like red and pink and they're on like a light pink background. And they're kind of like one's straight up and down and one's tilted. They're kind of all offset. I also really like, and this is probably very particular to me, but a lot of times when they do like a polka dot or something, it there's almost like a border around the edge so that the polka dots don't really like run off the top or run off the bottom. And I love that in this pattern, they kind of start at the top. There's a little, like a little piece of it and it, the pattern continues. So normally I feel like it's like this at the bottom where there's like a, it's perfect. So it doesn't run off the edge, but I love how it starts off the edge and it goes off the edge on the sides too. So I really like that. There's also a little bit of white like splatter, which I'm not sure if you're able to see. This one is called Happy Hearts and this is so cute. They're kind of like emoji hearts, I guess, but they're just really fun. And I love the colors and it also has a very faint ledger background. And then the back is this really cool kind of I, I don't know if it's technically a plaid, but maybe it's a like monochromatic plaid. I'm not sure, but I really, really like it. I think it's pretty. I think you could recreate this with watercolors and that would be a really fun thing to do. This is called My Love and this paper, order multiple, it is so, so cute. So it has these like kind of blushy colored hearts in the background with these polka dots on top. They're like imperfect. And then the other side is this adorable cactus. What's the difference between a cactus and a succulent? Is a cactus the ones that have like the needles and succulents don't? I'm not sure, but I think these are all cactus, cacti. 
yeah, cacti would be the proper word. But the vases are so cute. Um, I, I just love this paper. I think it's adorable. This one is called Delightful, and it's just a pretty standard. I think this was in another crepe paper collection also. I really liked this side that has the big polka dots. And if I don't know if you can tell, but they're slightly different colors. So this one's slightly more red, and this one's more pink. It's kind of hard to tell, but it does. there is a little variation. This one is called Hugs and Kisses, and this paper was sent by accident. I didn't... Um, I mean, it's cute, but I, I didn't really think I would use this paper. I don't particularly care for this side too much. It is pretty bad. I just don't know how I would use it. Um, and this is by far my ultimate favorite paper. This is called Lovely, and it has this awesome stripe. I love stripe papers. It also has the little dots on the top, and then the back side is like a pink with white kind of sketchy hearts. So those are the papers, and I'm gonna show you a couple of the embellishments. This is the 12 by 12 chipboard, and I just wanted to point out that I know there have been lots of issues with chipboard, crepe paper chipboard lately, and I've had um, both the Snow and Cocoa and the Gather chipboard have been like cut off, like wonky, so that um, just not cut correctly. This one's not by any means perfect. Excuse my camera shaking, my dog has decided to wedge herself in a space that's about half her size. Um, anyhow, so it's definitely not perfect. You can see on the flamingo, like there's a white border on the bottom, but there's not on the top, but at least it's usable. Like, I mean, some of them are so bad they weren't even usable. Anyhow, um, this is really cute chipboard and it is usable. So that is good. It has this big love banner and this glitter is something I haven't seen before. It does, not only does it not really come off, but it's almost like inlaid. I don't know how they did it, but it's really, um, flat to the chipboard it's not like raised up at all and it's really really pretty I love the way that they did it and I think that they got it right because I I've had a lot of issues with <laughs> crepe paper glitter like on stickers and stuff where it's just not doesn't stick properly but this is really really good so the chipboard pieces you have the flamingo which is adorable and I didn't see it in the collection but I don't have all the paper so it might show up somewhere in the collection also this cupcake which I know there is a paper of cupcakes um, a tag, these hearts. I love this big heart. There's three frames. There's just kind of, um, like gradient pink, the black and white, and there's a, there's a glitter on the inside. And then this cute little girl, um, cotton candy. Just, it's really, really fun. And those little strawberry hearts. Oh, so cute. And then the cactus. Um, I really like this chipboard. I love chipboard. It's one of my favorite embellishments, but this one is definitely super, super cute. Okay, three more things. So I have the stickers, like the regular stickers, and these are six by 12, or if you open them up, they're like 12 by 12. These are really, really cute. There are tons of little things on here. This says there are 94 stickers. First of all, there's all these little tiny banners and they are adorable. Look how cute those are. This would be so fun to like string up. And then it has some like little conversation hearts, has some um, Happy Valentine's Day with a blank where you can write the name in and it's gold. Those little heart strawberries, which I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with. The cupcake, the little lips, some plain labels. Did I say banner? I meant label there. Um, tab, some gold hearts, the floral. Um, and then you can see on this side, there's just a bunch more hearts. So there's a bunch of small ones scattered throughout and then some of the bigger images. And then at the bottom, there's all these little emoji is that the right word? Like emoji hearts? I don't know, but so, so cute. I love this. I really love that black and white heart. It's super, super fun. So let me show it to you. Oh, and these are really cute too. They're like those fringe things. And they do have those like fringe embellishments with this collection too, I believe, but um, I didn't get them. I just got these because you can make those and I still have some left from that other Maggie Holmes collection that I was talking about before that I can't remember the name of. Um, next are these little puffy they're those hearts with the faces on them and you get 50 of them i probably should have gotten another pack of these because they are so so cute but i don't need them i'll just use these how adorable and they're in one, two, three, four, like five different shades of pink and pinky red which is awesome so so cute 
And then last but not least is the ephemera and I will, uh, here's what it looks like. There's 40 pieces and I will zoom in and show you what they look like. Okay, so here is the first set of ephemera pieces from the Heart Day collection. And you get this really cute XO, the floral, and then this little curl image, which is kind of funny. And then love in um, sign language, which is really cute. And it has a little like postage edge at the bottom. So there's those. And then there's this really cute little airmail, let's see if we'll focus, airmail stamp. It says, hey there, Valentine. This one says, it's like a dance card, which is really, really fun. Um, this one says, love, love, love. This says, I love you more than, and then you can like fill it in. And then this one says, happy Valentine's Day. This one says, I love you the most. That is really, really cute. And then Valentine's Dance, and this one has, um, how does it say? Oh, the second, like for the second month. Okay, a little calendar. Um, and then there's this little tag, that, like with the little faux staples. This is kind of looks like it's layered, even though it's not. This one is hilarious. It says, will you be my Valentine? And then as a place to hit check yes or no, and it has yes checked already, which I think is funny. Um, there's a couple, uh, a few acetate pieces. There's these two um, arrows. And then there are these two like um, heart clips. So you can like put them on the edge of a paper. You can do it that way. Or I guess you could do it that way. Well, that doesn't really look like a heart, so that way. Um, there's those. And then there's a little like tic-tac-toe. Oops, I'll focus. There we go. Well, like tic-tac-toe, this one says you're rad. Um, this kind of heart, not kind of heart, it is a heart. This one says Happy Valentine's. And then there are these two really cute tags. I love the colors on these tags. And these are acetate also. I haven't really seen acetate tags like this before or with this kind of color. I think that they're awesome and they're very true to the collection. Um, and then there's also some different hearts. There's this kind of like gem heart, a polka dot, and then these two. There aren't any really smaller ones, which I found interesting. Um, there's some different tags. There's this one that says Happy Valentine's Day. Oops. Love is in the air. This one. And then this bigger one that says Happy Valentine's Day. And it has the postage edge also. And then there is a frame, or maybe this way. And the last one is this piece that says, um, I love you with every bit of my heart. And it also has the postage edge. So that is the ephemera pack that goes with this collection. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And although I cannot believe it's about to be, I mean, Thanksgiving and then Christmas and then Valentine's Day, that's crazy. Or we, I feel like we're way ahead of ourselves, but this collection was just so cute, I had to share it. So um, again, that is Heart Day from Cray Paper. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you all real soon.